to go through these struggles and trials in order to get to that ending goal of the ending goal of helping kids and helping kids in these situations, then you know what? I, I mean, I'll take it. Texas has a had, has and still has a law in place to where whatever you I identify as, um, if it doesn't match your birth certificate, you're you have to compete as what it says on your birth certificate. And so back in high school, I'm, on my birth certificate, it said female uh, because I was biologically born a female. He saw that I was transitioning. I started testosterone, even though it was none of his business um, of what I was taking, because, you know, I already had plans in regulation with UIL and my doctor to where I was taking the amount that would not put me and exceed me um, out of a normal range uh, levels of a uh, cis woman. When people hear testosterone, uh, they think PEDs, which is a performance enhancing drug. Right now, uh, this fight well, with the anti-trans bills and um, with everything going on with trans athletes and in the LGBT community, um, there's there's a lot of things that I need to do now in order to get done. Uh, because if I, if I I feel like I will be failing my community and failing myself as an individual. They're sending the message to everyone saying, "Well, we don't accept these individuals. We we won't accept them." And that's and that's sad because well, how are you going to tell an eight year old, you know, boy or girl that is wanting to participate in sports that, oh, you can't because you are different. If you look into the, look into the bills, they're not using any recent analytical data. They're not using any new research. Um, especially Kansas's bill that um, that I was looking at, their research is from like 1996, 2011, or 2012. There's this um, UK doctor that I was looking into and have been looking to, uh, Joanne Harper, and she's a trans woman and she's uh, competed as a runner um, in her past, and now she's a scientific researcher. She has done research on trans women that um, it looks into the red blood cell count um, in uh, cis females and comparing it to trans women in sports. And there is no there's no difference when they hit between the, after the six month mark once they're on hormonal therapy. So, like, there's there's no evidence saying that, you know, trans women have an advantage in sports. There's there's none. we can you know fight these bills is you know um changing the narrative um even at, like at home when you're you know talking with your peers uh you know start and in, like initiating these conversations and like to your schoolwork educating people of like you know these different things that you know people don't understand in these states that are like trying to pass these laws um that are going into se se secession um getting a hold of like the local governors and you know like talking to them and be like no this bill does not need to be passed like this is going to be more harmful than it is going to be helpful these bills are just retracting years of development that we've been trying to, you know, uh, be progressive in. And uh, these bills are just, once they're passed, it's going to be so much harder to try to, um, you know, get them unpassed. So um, if we're able to nip it in the bud right now, we can then focus on those states that do have them passed. You just got to keep doing you and you can't let nobody tell you different.
Um, cause as soon as you start listening to other people to what they say, um, that's when they start getting to your head and, you know, if they are just keep trucking, you know, make history, like, you know, just be, like go through those barriers and, you know, um, just keep doing you just be you like don't don't let anybody tell you different